Hello everyone, this is Dr. Manal Abdul. I'm very glad to be with you today in a new video. Uh, this uh, video is uh, for beginners and in this video I will show you how to uh, use uh, the drawing tools to complete this uh, drawing on screen. Uh, this is from AutoCAD 2022 tutorial first level 2D fundamentals. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the line command and how to use the circle command. Also how to use uh, the um, object snap. Uh, how to use uh, the object snap tracking, polar tracking, and the dynamic input, how to set it uh, up, and how to use the customization uh, panel if you don't find any of uh, these tools on the taskbar. Also, what I will show you here, uh, how to use uh, the uh, coordinate system, how to modify and change the origin of the coordinate system to help you find the center of the circles. So, let's get started and jump to AutoCAD. Before we start the drawing uh, this exercise, let's have a look at the taskbar and uh, this is the object to snap. I have a video for the object snap if you need uh, to look at it, just uh, check my previous video. Uh, for the object to snap, uh, we need endpoint. Um, I prefer to have endpoint. We can um, take them off or add them at any time. Uh, object to snap, as you see here, it's F3. By clicking F3 on the keyboard, you can turn it on or off. If for any reason you don't have the object snap down, you can click on the customization and uh, look for the 2D object snap. Make sure it has the check next to that. And if not, so uh, it will not come here. Now, make sure it's blue. That means it is active. Also, we need uh, the um, object snap tracking and the polar tracking, both of them. The polar tracking, um, I needed to be here in this exercise multiple of 90 degrees because uh, most of the lines are horizontal and vertical. Dynamic input, also if it's not there, check the customization panel and make sure the dynamic input is checked. Now the dynamic input is on, that means it's blue, it is active. A dynamic input will give you instructions on the screen. Um, now let's start drawing uh, with a line command. You can uh, navigate to the home tab, draw panel, click on line, or simply just type L, enter. Okay, specify first point, click on any point on the screen. It doesn't matter which point in this case. Now, as you see, we are drawing um, lines. Uh, be sure to uh, go over this dashed lines because we need it horizontal. Do not go up or down, just follow the dashed lines. We need to type the distance here. The distance is 6.5, enter. Now we need to go vertical. So follow the dashed line, make sure your cursor is following the dashed line. And we need to type 6.5, which is the distance, enter. Uh, we need to go uh, to the right direction horizontal line as well if we do some calculation here the that line is 2.5 plus 3 uh, which is 5.5 enter let's go uh, vertical up so you give direction then distance direction follow that dashed line up and this is 2.5 now we need to go to the right direction then distance 2.5 uh, we go up also here some calculation uh, the line is 5.5 minus 2.5 which is 3 so give direction then type 3 enter then uh, get this the end point here uh, to connect the lines correctly so we finished uh, drawing the lines we still have the two circles as you see here, we have a distance 2.5 down and 3. And now we need to set the center. And we do have the diameter. And this symbol here means diameter. So the diameter of this circle is 2.5. Uh, the center point, I need to get 2.53. Uh, there are several ways to get this point but i need here to show you one way before we start uh, which is moving the coordinate system now uh, the to move the ucs origin we can uh, click on the coordinate system and move uh, click on move and align and i'm gonna move it to this corner when i do that 
Now, why you start this corner at 0, 0? So the x is 0, the y is 0. Uh, this will make uh, my drawing easier to complete as you can move the origin uh, of the UCS from anywhere. If you don't find the UCS, you can go to view. Make sure the UCS icon is active. If it's not, look at that. Now it disappeared. It's hidden. You can bring it back. Now the origin at the corner of the drawing. Let's go back to the circle and go to center diameter make sure uh, you are drawing center diameter not radius because here we have the diameter now specify the center uh, the center it's on the x 2.5 on the y it's a 3 so i'm gonna type 2.5 then comma then 3 enter okay now i got the center of this circle i'm gonna uh, type the diameter which is uh, 2.5 hit enter and this is the first circle now we need to draw uh, the same way uh, the second circle with the diameter 1.5 uh, the distance is 5 from the x which is the origin is here on the corner so we do have 5 and uh, the origin from this point uh, is uh, 3 plus 2, which is uh, uh, 5. So let's uh, draw the same way. We go to um, the circle, C, enter, or from the home tab, draw a panel, circle. Make sure it's center diameter, not radius, because we have the diameter. Now, what we need here is um, center, specify the center. We need to type it x and y, the coordinate. Uh, the coordinate here is 5, comma, 5. Hit enter button. We got uh, the center, and the diameter here is 1.5. Uh, now, we can do it other way, like if you need to... Um, get that one move and align you can put the coordinate at any corner you want and in this case when you draw the circle uh, the the uh, specify the start point it will be 5 negative 1.5 so either way you can move the coordinate to any point you want and then calculate the distance using x and y uh, relative to the new origin of the ucs I hope that is helpful. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like uh, button. Uh, put your comments if you have any question, And subscribe to my channel to get notified when I publish new videos. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Manal Abdul.